For the past two days, ever since the spring 2015 of anime started kicking off around Friday, I've had a bunch of Chibits tell me, Chibi, you need to watch Kekai Sinsen. You need to watch this series. You need to review this. You need to watch it. And I mean... Holy crap, this series just blew up out of nowhere because I haven't heard much hype about this series, but for the past couple days, so many Chibits have just said you need to watch this series. So, to listen to all of you, I decided to listen and give it a shot and look at it. I was going to give it a shot regardless, but I really wanted to look at this series now after so many of you were recommending me Kekai Sensen because, like, why would just so many say go review it. It must be very good. So, I want to be giving you my first impressions of the series, how I truly thought of the first episode, and my viewpoint on what the episode is. So, right off the bat, it gives me a lot of Dorado Doll and Kill a Kill vibes. It reminds me of those two series. It's kind of like, if those two series kind of had a baby, that's what you would get when you got this episode of Kekai Sensen. Now, I'm not saying it's identical to Dorado Doll or Kill a Kill. I'm just saying it has some vibes that remind me of those series. It really does. With the town aspect, with it being not normal, to, you know, our main male character kind of being normal, to the way uh, the wacky over-the-top action is, along with the characters, it reminds me of Kill a Kill. So there's a lot of different themes in this that just remind me of Kill a Kill and Dorado Doll, which is really cool because it adds a very unique and interesting setting to this anime and I like that. I mean the setting of Kekai Sensen is definitely one of the most unique series from this anime season I have seen thus far because the way the town is kind of like a mundane world along with having the supernatural type creatures or whatever like it wasn't really explained which I'll get into that in a moment but you just see these supernatural creatures or aliens with regular human society and it happened a couple years ago to where the world changed or New York changed into what it is and you see this giant ass fog mushroom cloud over the city and so, there's a lot of mystery and a lot of questions with this episode, and that leads us into the main point of discussion I want to center this video around. So, this first episode, as always when it comes to an anime, a first episode should give you introduction to the series, introduction to the characters, what you should expect, and stuff like that. That's kind of what uh, first episodes are supposed to be there for. And this first episode of Kekai Sensen, it did its job, but I think it did its job too well, if you get what I mean. What I'm getting at is, there was a big, very big info dump in this episode. Like, it was so big that I had to rewatch scenes twice just to make sure I understood everything. And it's a big ass info dump. It really is. It's a really big ass info dump episode. And I highly doubt everybody is just going to grasp everything that came from this episode. I still don't understand 100% of everything that happened because there's just so much shit going on. And that's where I get into the terms of how it reminds me of Dorodoral because there's just so much shit going on in Dorodoral's episode. And that's what's going on in this and it also has a similar format like Dorado Doll when it comes to Showing you the future like at the beginning of the episode and then going through it and showing you what led up to those events Through majority of the episode and that's kind of how this episode was done in the same standard format as Dorado Doll And it's just it can be slightly confusing depending on your viewpoint of this series because there's just so much information Dumped upon you and all these different characters and circumstances and stuff like that the episode was was kind of easy to follow up until the very halfway point until you saw a Libra get introduced and they went to the building and stuff. That's when it started getting really hard to fully keep up because there's just so much coming in, so much to process, so much to think about and understand about the world aspect. But overall though, it's a very solid introduction to the series. It is. It's definitely a unique series that's standing out to me when it comes to this anime season. It definitely has a lot of potential to be one of the best anime series of this season. It definitely has that potential depending on how it explains and expands upon all these themes it introduced into this episode. So hopefully the animators and whatever studios do, I think it's Studio Bones that's actually animating this series, whoever's doing it and whoever wrote this, hopefully they fleshed out the themes, the characters, and they explained all these little details that were going on in this episode later on down the road. Since this is the first episode, I don't expect to have answers to everything. I don't expect that because it is a first episode. First episodes are supposed to be there to where you tune in next week to watch another episode and try to figure out if your questions will be answered. So I don't expect my questions to be answered in this episode. I expected a lot of questions, but there could be too many questions for some. This, this series might turn off a lot of people just because there is so many questions, but 
That, that's just your taste. It, it just depends on your taste of anime. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my first impressions of Kekai Sin Sin. It was a good series. Good start. I can't wait to continue it next week. Looking forward to episode two. Tell me your thoughts. Please be safe. Shibi out.